What's up everybody? I'm just coming at you here in my garage. This is my car. Well, anyway, we're back with more Mafia 3. What am I doing here? I'm trying to push the car. <laughs> okay. So we're... Oops, wrong button. So we're back with more Mafia 3. Uh, how do I get into cars again? Square, right? Yeah, there we go. And, uh... Now we're good. And we are picking up where we left off last time. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say thank you to everybody for all your supports and comments and likes and subscriptions I've got recently for this series. I do appreciate it, and I know a lot of you are just here for the free game, which is perfectly fine. That's why I give it away. Um, but I am going to be announcing a winner, I think, either this week or this coming weekend. Okay. I should apply the brakes instead of just drifting. But we're fine. Okay. So I to check what the brake button was. Anyway, um, I'm going to be announcing that winner shortly. Uh, probably in a couple videos here. Uh, so make sure you keep entering. You know. Increase, uh, you know, tell your friends. Have them uh, try to win also. I mean, it's a free game. How are you going to say no to that? And uh, I know there's been a lot of issues recently with the, the PC version of this game. Um, but hopefully those are going to be fixed. If they haven't already, I haven't really been checking. Since I'm playing this on PS4 and it's obviously better. <laughs> anyway. I digress. The map is at the bottom left. Or right. And I will look at that from my drive. Am I on the right road here? I can't tell. Yes. They just put me in the wrong lane. That's okay. So this game's going pretty well. Um, I forgot what we're doing. It's been a couple days since I played this. And we're going to the Yacht Club. I forgot why, though. But I guess we'll find out when we get there. Um, but yeah, it's been uh, it's been fun. I totally forgot to tell a story about when I got this game. Uh, when it came out on the, the midnight release of the game, I was, you know, kind of excited. Like, yeah, I'm going to go play this game right away and try to put a video out really fast and give away a free copy and maybe I'll get some more people paying attention to my channel. It's a pretty small channel and I'm I'd be the first to admit that, but you know, I hope to get some more following the more I play these newer games and try to offer some incentives. So I actually ended up calling the GameStop nearby where I live and I asked, uh, do you, like, what's the release date of Mafia 3? And they said, oh, it's uh, on this Thursday. I'm like, oh, okay, great. Are you doing a midnight release? And they're like, oh, well, no, we're not doing a midnight release. Um, but our sister store is in this location, which is actually not too far from me either. So I'm like, okay, great. Uh, so what time is it? It's available at 11 o'clock. He said, yes. I'm like, fantastic. So I ended up going there at 11 o'clock on Thursday night. And I was surprised... The fuck you doing up here? Help goes into the back. I'm, uh, I'm here to see Mr. Marcano. The name's Lincoln Clay. That a fact? I'll be goddamned. Mind your manners while you're in there, boy. Or there'll be hell to pay, you hear? Park over to the side. Yeah, I hear. <laughs> There's some help right now. Um, so I got there and I was surprised to see that the store was closed. The lights were off and the door was gated. I'm like, well, that's amazing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Lincoln Clay! Christ, man, get a look at you! I bet those fucking gook shit themselves when they saw you coming. Been a long time, Georgie. Oh, no shit has been a long time. I think the last time I saw you was that night over in the French Ward, right before you shipped out. <laughs> Damn it, that wasn't a gas. Oh, I seem to remember me and Ellis running from the cops. Uh, and Danny ending up in the drunk tank. Hell, man, I bailed him out. Besides, just worth it to knock the hell out of them cracker assholes. <laughs> Smoke? Sure. <laughs> oh, man. Sammy said Mr. Marcano wanted to see me. Mr. Marcano? Shit. Make him sound like a goddamn lawyer. You just call him Sal. Come on, he's in the back. <laughs> Whoa. Something else. 
Hey, these squares have a problem with Joe Trez. You can take it up with my old man. He'll tell him to kiss his ass. <laughs> nice thing about having fuck you money. Olivia, I hate to cut this short, darling, but I've got a meeting coming up. Remy, a pleasure as always, sir. Two more glasses. <laughs> Lincoln, good to see you. This is Vito Scaletta. Vito! He's the one I've been telling you about. Come on, Lincoln, sit down. So you served in Vietnam, huh? Yes, sir. Sal tells me uh, you earned a few pieces of tin over there. Well, I served with some good men. Nothing I did would happen without them. Army? Marines? Regular army at first, and then I was recruited to the 5th SFG. Special Forces. I told you it was something else. Now, not that anything's gonna go wrong, but just in case, goddamn, don't you want a man like that on your side? Well, if you're vouching for him, Sal, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Look, I got a couple things to take care of. Uh, thanks for the drink. Christ, that guy's an asshole. Fucking carpetbagger. Commission sent him down here from Empire Bay about 15 years back. He's been a pain in my goddamn ass ever since. Well, I guess you're wondering what this is all about. Yeah, Sammy didn't tell me too much. Twice a year, the Feds take old money out of circulation and destroy it. Over the course of the next few days, that money's gonna be delivered here to the reserve in town. And you're gonna hit one of those shipments? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. We are gonna use that occasion to gain access to their vault. And then steal everything that ain't nailed down. <laughs> Should be six, seven million in there? Easy. That's, that's pretty fucking ballsy. <laughs> it's a chance of a goddamn lifetime is what it is. Now, Vito's fronting a lot of the money for the job, and he got us the combination to the vault. Have you had a chance to see Danny? No, not yet. Oh, well, you will. We brought him and his old man in on this. And they're gonna need your help, so go see them. They ain't still in that same place. There's something else we gotta talk about. Now, it's safe to assume you know about the problem Sammy's been having. I took care of the Haitians. Once things settle down, money will start coming in again. You see that right there? That's what I'm talking about. You didn't sit around with your thumb jammed in your ass. You saw a problem, you went out and took care of it. God damn, I take that over money any day of the week. We pay our own way, debts and all. Always have. Oh, hell, son, I know that. I wouldn't expect otherwise. But you know, even after we all evened up, you're still gonna be slopping around in the ass end of this city. Not much of a future in that. But maybe there's a different way forward, you understand? For all of us. What'd you have in mind? I want you to know I mean no disrespect when I say this. Sammy's a hell of a man, but he's not getting any younger. And I'm thinking it's time to make a change. Well, I don't think that Ellis is ready for that kind I'm of not stuff. talking about Ellis. I'm talking about you. I want you to run the holler. <laughs> I can't do that. Well, look here. If you're worried about Sammy, don't you understand? Now, he's always been on the level with me. And this job we're talking about, there's more than enough for him to retire on. He took me in when I had nowhere else to go. He treated me like a son. I'm sorry, Mr. Marcano. I, I can't do that to him. Well, shit, son. I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't just a little disappointed. But I get it. You're loyal. Which is something that is scarce these days. Do you still want me to help with this thing we've been talking about? <laughs> you goddamn right I do! <laughs> and when it's all done, you all be more than square with me. You have my word. What do you really want to hear? That we'd kidnap and torture anyone suspected of working with the VC? I'm trying to ascertain the level of training that Lincoln Clay received during his time in Vietnam. Someone like that you don't need to train. You point them in the right direction and get the fuck out of their way. I see a goddamn thing. <coughs> Neither can they. Stay cool. We'll get through this. <coughs> Motherfuckers. 
Okay, so we're <laughs> we're back in the bank now. It's kind of jumping around. I don't know if it's. I think it's just going to keep doing this while I kind of tell the initial story here. But anyway, I want to say awesome to see Vito back, and I think it's the same voice. Sounds like him, and he's obviously older. And I guess they kind of explain like why he's here from uh, New York, right? That's where the last one was. Anyway, use Intel View to track enemies you've already seen. Intel View, blah 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 blah. Oh, I gotta press that stupid square button I never use. I got eyes on yeah. The what? Get around this asshole. How's that feel? Well, this is... Are they in here with me? Okay. So that's my guy in the corner. I'm looking at the map here. By the way, what color is uh, Georgie to you guys there? I'm uh, partially colorblind, so I don't know what the red is versus whatever color he is. Is he like orange or something? I don't even know. Anyway, let's... Uh, not die. Where's my health bar at again? I always forget. Maybe I don't have one. Regroup? Or where did he go? No. Oh. oh, he's reeling. Fuck yeah! The drill's through. Now what do you want to do? Hot damn, Malice! What took you guys so long? Piece of shit drill kept overheating. You and Lincoln both still in one piece? Yeah, we good. Where's Danny? He's pushing everything off to the side so that we have room to catch the money. All right, well, once you square the way up here, we start dropping it down. We'll make it quick. Motherfuckers killed the lights. Just worry about the money. I'll deal with this. Have to remember what cover. There we go. It's like there's a cover button, and I forgot what it was. Anyway, to finish my story I was talking about earlier, um, so GameStop was closed, which was fantastic to see. I'm like, well, shit, I need to get this game because I had this all planned out. Like, I'm gonna stay up late and like try to make a video and stuff. And, you know, it's gonna be kind of stupid if I do it like two days later or whatever it's gonna be. So I'm looking up like, okay, who else has midnight release? I'm like, oh, Best Buy has it. Okay, great. What's the nearest Best Buy that has it? Almost well, like four towns over. It's like a half hour drive. I'm like, mm, yeah, it's not gonna work for me. So it's, I decided, I looked up also, I guess Walmart was also releasing it, but it was gonna be at midnight. Which I'm like, well, that's fine. There's a Walmart right across the street from where I'm at. Let me check to see if they have it. And uh, went over the games I didn't see anywhere. Is this guy dead? Let's go. And uh, I asked the lady over there, I'm like, you know, I was uh, looking for a game. Mafia 3 might be coming out today. What was he talking about? Um. Oh, <laughs> I guy got launched over the box. Sweet. Oh, I missed it. Hit any of them? I don't even know. Oh no. Don't get killed here. Stop shooting me. So the lady at Walmart's like, yeah, we have it, but we can't sell it until midnight. I'm like, okay, great. It's 11.10. Like, let me just go back home and then I'll come back here at midnight. <laughs> You know, I'm asking my wife, like, do you think I should drive, like, four towns away to go to Best Buy to get this? Or... Is that guy dead? What is he doing? No, he's alive. The zombie. <laughs> so I ended up getting the game from Walmart, which is, I don't know, felt kind of weird, but I'm glad Walmart's kind of participating in this, like, gaming industry somewhat. All right, what's going on here? Is he still shooting at me? Get the hell out of here. He just... Oh, he hit me. Hit him very hard. Get the blood off the screen. Oh, he's right there. I didn't even see him. Where is he? Maybe not. My auto-aim is pointing right there, but there's nobody there. I just see his gun popping up right there. 
All right, let's get a little closer. I think it's B, and then Don't you move, B. asshole! Oh, go back into B. And now he moves. Okay, we good now? Still rolling around? Okay. So that was my story about finally getting the game. God damn it, those guards will cut us down the second we make a break for it. Tell Danny he needs to get us out of here. And these bastards got us pinned down. Y'all need to figure something out. I got some TNT. I'll put on our side of the hole and detonate it. What the fuck is that gonna accomplish? With any luck, it'll blow a hole big enough for y'all to drop down. With any luck, Danny, do you even know what the fuck you're doing? Come on, it's dynamite. How complicated could it be? It's lit. Get the fuck away from the hole. That looked really cool. No one really knows why Sal Marcano turned on Thomas Burke, uh, but he took Point Verdun from him and gave it to an enforcer named Roman the Butcher Barbieri, who promptly busted up one of Burke's legs. Now, Danny Burke was part of the heist crew. I mean, he was a gearhead, had never done anything like this before. But Thomas Burke insisted. He figured if the heist was a success, Sal would forgive him and return Point Verdun. Penetrator, all right. <laughs> hey, now I heard there ain't nothing sweeter than Vietnamese pussy. You tell me it's true. <laughs> Casanova Clay. Shit, man, it's so fucking good to see you. You too, Danny. That's Nikki. God, she wanted to be here, but I ain't remember how old. Oh, God damn, you piece of shit. Yeah, unfortunately. Come on, let's grab a beer. Wait for the old man to chill out, and then we can get down to it. Yeah. What's up, man? I already got it all set up and organized. All the girls gonna be there and everything, except we just gotta go in my cars, because we can't roll up in that beat-up piece of shit outside. <laughs> oh, you didn't just call my all-American machine a beat -up. I'm just saying, there better rides out there. Hey, bullshit there are. This car's a beast. I thought the custom 358 and the 4 shipped out. That ain't the only thing you dropped in there. Maybe you should tell them about how you'd borrow it from Ellis and take the ladies <laughs> for a ride. Hell, man, leave me out of this. Did you fuck in my car? Mm -hmm. Nah, it ain't no big deal. I was always wrapped up tight. <laughs> Besides, I already got one fucking bass in my life. I don't need another one. All right, you know what? You're going to clean it. Not just the back oh. seat. Every square inch. <laughs> I don't need to be riding around sitting in your shit. Hey, and you, funny man, you going to fucking help. Like the hell I am? Shit, I didn't get any. Yeah, well, it was just new. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you fucking jokers got about as much chance of pulling this off as I do at winning a goddamn decathlon. Oh, all right, Doc, we hear you. Hey. Donnie and Ellis, you're gonna use the drills to cut a hole up through the bottom of the vault. You and Georgie, you'll be inside. You're gonna drop the money down, then get the hell out of there. That goddamn drill ain't easy to move, though. So we need a boat, to get it through the canals and into position. Well, Ellis and I worry about the boat. See, George's old man flipped the guard at the reserve, giving you his truck. <laughs> Between that and the uniforms, and no one gonna give us a second look. <laughs> Come on, let's get moving. We still gotta swing by Skeletta to finish up some prep work. Hey, and you two assholes, don't think this gets you off the hook when it comes to my car. Y'all best get ready to clean it. I ain't cleaning shit. Hey, you cleaning it. My father was a lot of things, few of them good. But he started out smuggling moonshine, so he knew about the canals underneath the city, and that one of them went right under the Federal Reserve. It was his idea to use a boat to move the drill into position. He was a real son of a bitch, my father. More than anyone else, I blame him for what happened. 
want to stick your own neck out, fine. But leave your son out of it. It's his fault Danny died. Okay, so we know, uh... I'm gonna go on a limb and say that Danny's probably gonna not survive this. So, that, I mean, I don't know. I'm just gonna let the story kind of unravel and see what happens here. Oh, well, look behind me. I've got a rear view mirror in this boat for some reason. <laughs> It's a nice little feature they added in this game with the rear view mirror, but like I'm, I would never look at it. I guess I don't know who. Uh, I don't know what I would use it for. Yeah. <laughs> Is that good? No. It's apparently not good. Am I dead or am I still alive? I'm still alive. Great. Go back into this side. Okay, let's stay over here then. This boat is on fire. And we will probably die soon. Which is fantastic. At least we'll know. Dude. <laughs> okay. None of this makes any sense. That, 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 that can't be how it happened. That's your mission. Okay. Uh, let's restart the checkpoint. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be like a, like a little cutscene when you fail a mission. That's kind of interesting. Let's just not run into people this time. And Maybe when they tell us when we... Well, that's not fair. I didn't hit anything. You <laughs> caught my boat on a nail or something. So let's just get out of here and uh, do good. Look, there's nobody behind us. Why are we supposed to look behind us right now? Okay. What do you mean, take cover? I'm in a goddamn boat. Come get some, you These cops are smart. Oh. They're unloading into me right now. I can't move. Go. Everything's slow. No, I'm tur- Oh. Okay. I guess we failed. I don't know what that was about. Things are going wrong. <laughs> we'll try that again. Good lord, man. It shouldn't be that difficult. Damn cops came out of nowhere. Damn alligator bit my hand off. Okay, I'm just gonna drive and try not to get crashed into something. I really want to see what happens more with Vito also. I mean they kind of just introduced him, which is was kind of cool obviously. But like he has like kind of a weird thing going on. Like, is he gonna be a good guy, a bad guy, is he gonna be in the game for a while? Alright, I can't I can't. What? I can't do it. Fucking drive. This boat handles like a shopping cart. I'm already on fire. Motherfucker. Yeah, go get him. None of this makes any sense. That 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 can't be how it happened. Check again. Check your other file. Alright. We can do this. They start you like so... Ah, so strange. Alright, stay away from the sides. Stay away from the sides. Fine. This thing is so messy. Let's stay on the left and then let's move to the right when we see the cops coming. And maybe we can avoid them? I don't know. We survived that one. We survived that one. Okay, we haven't been this far in a while. <laughs> yeah, fuck, man, again. Get over the boat. Go, go, go. Alright. Fucking brain. Go! 
Yeah, I know. Shake motherfuckers. Take a hell shot or something, I don't know. Alright, bolt's not on fire yet. How is he not running into the goddamn... Alright, your turn your boats! And then turn it again. Okay. Please make it. It's weird because I was like thinking maybe they set this mission up to fail originally. Because it doesn't seem like they're sending their all-star crew here. But, like, it's the hey, boss's son. Are you out of your fucking mind? Am I supposed to just hit this hard? Or... Fuck, fuck. Yep, okay. Everybody all right? That was the craziest fucking thing I've ever saw. <laughs> I'm glad we're breathing and all. But what the hell are we gonna do now? Our only option is to head up. Are you kidding me? There'll be cops all over the place. Well, with any luck, they'll be too busy dealing with Mardi Gras. Notice us. Let's go. Well, damn it, this ain't a gas. <laughs> hey, you sure you need to grab that much of my ass? Oh, shut up and keep climbing, man. Out there, I hit a payphone. Call through the ride. Can you walk? Yeah, somebody give me a hand. I can get one. Uh, it's probably just gonna be easier to carry a sorry ass. Hold up. Come here. Hey, hey! Uh, don't put me the fuck down! <laughs> if anybody asks, we say he's drunk. Y'all pick up that money. Let's go. Oh, God damn it. You know, if this was my heist, Man, I'd probably have us, like, put, like, outfits on or something. If only to, like, blend in more with this crowd outside, or maybe cover up this massive leg wound, you know? <laughs> That's pretty deep. Alright, a good place to stop the video. We'll see you guys in the next one. And, uh, yeah, I think probably one or two more videos, and we will be giving away a free copy of this game. So we'll see you guys next time. Take care.